At the time, New York felt very thriving, and it was just this crazy, over-the-top world. Paris and Nikki Hilton. Nicole Richie. Tinsley Mortimer. Partying. Giant handbags. Cocaine. Socialites. Her beautiful clothes and sex suit. All these photographers, I just remember thinking, I want to be part of this. This looks cool. How to break into New York Society 101. I kind of invented the Hilton sisters. Well, I taught them how to pose. People realize the power of image. When I met Tinsley Mortimer, we were at a party. I said, it's all about being in the right dress at the right time. Tinsley Mortimer dropped on the scene like a bombshell. Pitch it, pitch it, pitch it. Pitch it. it was a new time. It was kind of a free for all. People were doing blow, and they were hanging out, and they were making the world go around. I mean, that was fun until it just became not fun. When the blogging craze took off, suddenly everyday people were putting their opinions about famous people on the internet, blogs like Gorka. Perez Hilton. Park Avenue Peerage. An anonymous blog devoted to who was up and who was down. We created a story alliance of who the villains were. They cultivated a real air of mystery. They had the power of the pen, and that pen could be vicious and mean. There was no separation between myself and this glamorous, glittering world. It was almost like this weird secret society that was very public. There was no sense I was writing something that would affect someone's actual life. It ended up putting me in a place that I was so low. Sorry. Well, that's America for you. They bring them up, and then they bring them down. I just had a nervous breakdown. There have been plenty of socialites, you know, who've died. It seemed like the Wild West of media. No one went higher and fell further down. It was really surreal. These were real people and not like characters in a book. We made them into characters. This concept of fame, the concept of celebrities, I think it's a big lie.